Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Just Got Played. This is your boy, Jim Jam JJ here, and I could not be any more excited. I know it's not super obvious, but I am excited, finally, because I've been waiting for this game for over a year, and it's finally here. Even got the shirt to go along with it. Ugh, so great. Uh, it's amazing because I'm so excited to play this and unbox this, and it, it's just here. It's been here. It's the, all y'all have been waiting for your game fun, your Kickstarter stuff on the on the uh, boats in China, and then they're finally getting here and getting all shipped out and everything, and everybody's getting them all at the same time. Uh, finally got mine. Been waiting for it pretty much almost my whole life, really. But I mean, in this form anyway. Uh, but without further ado, let me stop gushing and being all happy about this stuff because I just I'm just gonna show it to you because I've been wanting to unload, un un rip this thing open and. Sh and, and Take a look of everything that's inside of it. Uh, but yeah, let's let's just get into it. Here it is. Masters of the Universe, the board game, Clash for Eternia. It's finally here. They got the like old school art on the box front. It's just amazing. Looks great. It's nice and heavy. Um, still has the wrapping on there. I only cut a little section off of here. So let me get this off so we can get this started. Get out of here. Boom. Throw that on the ground. All right, so nice heavy box. Looks great. Clash of Eternia, Mattel Games, Simon, uh, one to five players, about an hour long. They sent out the uh, instruction manual like eight months ago now. So reading along on it, basically you're either the good guys being led by He-Man or you're the bad guys being led by Skeletor. They have the all the classic henchmen, you know, you got Beastman, Man-at-Arms, Tila, uh, Evelyn, uh, Trapjaw, uh, Orko's in there even, and then of course you got the you got Battle Cat because he's going to be in there. Um, but there's a bunch of expansions, and you'll see from the unboxings what all came with it. But of course, uh, I got all that stuff. I had to get, had to go all in with what they have so far, and there's other expansions planned for later. Um, this is one of this is the American version of the uh, Masters of the Universe board game. There is a European and um, EU countries, all the all the different things over there. I actually got that coming in. Shh. Be, be looking for that out. Be on the lookout for that on the channel because we'll do an unboxing, review, all that stuff with it. Uh, but for now, this is the main box. I'll do the other expansions later, but we're just gonna focus on the main box here and oh, it just looks so glorious. Oh, I'm so happy this finally came and you have no idea, if, unless you were in the Discord, then you heard me talking about it over the last few months, but it finally came in yesterday. Oh, let's break this open, cannot wait. All right, here we go. Oh, yes. Nice big box. We will put this over here out the way. You can kind of see it a little bit up there. That's fine. Um, extra Simon contents. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you took enough of my money. You made me wait long enough. Um, so, okay. So, on the bottom of the box, I see all the characters here. Uh, let's tip this up. Uh, you got the good guys on that side, and then each side has a bunch of different main characters um, from the show. And comic books, yada yada yada. Uh, another uh, sh uh, shot of the rule book, um, the classic art from the box. Oh, just so good, they used the original like He-Man art. Uh, nice big thick rule book. A lot of different steps in here, going over the concepts and everything like that. Basically, you have a team. Um, so you're going against either a controlled, a person controlled, or like the AI controlled bad person or good person, whatever team you decide to not be. Um, and then there's like action tiles, so it's like programming a little bit because you have to, you have to program when somebody's taking a turn. Uh, you don't have to program your actions, but you program when, who's going to go win. Uh, so basically you, uh, alternate between, um, the uh, one team versus the other team and then the other team. So it's uh, it's all versus one, but uh, each each person on the team part of it gets to go alternating with the person that's the one uh, or AI that's the one. Uh, and then they have their own actions they can do. But when it's your turn, you get to choose from like three different actions. Um, and then you're moving your character. As you can see, there's a board with terrain map going on. Uh, so you're moving around fighting and then hopefully upgrading your character, whoever you you whoever you are and of course each character has their own like special abilities they can use and like affinities and everything like that uh 
you got these nice big boards that I'm going to show you, but yeah, this is a nice thick uh, book with the player turns and how battles go and then how, what all the terrain types do and how to upgrade your character, all that stuff. So yeah, fun. Um, yeah, uh, going to check this all out and I will do a review of all of it. I'll do the AI and then the, the uh, player controlled and look at all the pieces and try to get close-ups of all that stuff. There's so much stuff in here. This is just the core box. Um, they have specific scenarios. Uh, each expansion has uh, different scenarios in it for the different... Um, um, like you're, you, you're going up to Stake Mountain, you're assaulting Castle Grayskull, different things, and there's She-Ra in there. So her people, you know, you got to go against Hordak. So that's that's a different type of mechanic too. So there's all kinds of scenarios. I'm pretty sure going on the Reddit, Reddit um, subreddit and all the different resources and like the main page. Oh, it's already broken. No. Um, you'll get all kinds of scenarios. So there's going to be multiple, multiple ways to play. You have so much stuff to do. Um, this is the board that comes with it. I did get the special um, mat, so I will do a, a video of that to show you the difference. But yeah, this is pretty big, but kind of tiny a little bit. Uh, it actually fits on my table. I don't have the whole table on the table yet. Oh, wow. Took the whole screen. Um, yeah, big, big uh, player board, but I have the mat, so I probably won't even see this <laughs> ever again. Uh, Got to play with the fancy stuff. And then we have bunch of tokens here it looks like we have player tokens which is weird because oh this is for the board sorry yeah this is for the board silly me um i'm like why would you play this okay so we have regular player boards here and the different tokens for all the characters they are the objective tokens and the spawn tokens so i guess it's the uh, npc characters or minions that come out so that's all that there punch that out later um well we'll punch out let's punch out um feels pretty good good thickness so like that very much. Uh, here's the uh, main board. Uh, so this is what I was talking about. We're uh, alternating turns between the different, each person chooses. And then um, the farther along you are, you get more action points, which is what these Thunderbolts are. Um, and then here's the life point marker. Uh, I forgot what this was, but, but yeah, so basically you get more actions the, the later you wait, but you know, you might be dead by that time. So <laughs> you don't get to do anything. Um, well, we'll just kind of throw that away because it's already cracked. So that can go over there. That's sad. Uh, okay. More terrain tiles. Uh, I did get the upgraded terrain, so I'll do a video on that. So you can see the 3d stuff. Cause, uh, gotta be fancy. Uh, it all looks nice, even though it is sort of power, power sword. Um, so we'll go ahead and open this up and take a look to see what the terrain oh, is nice and thick. All right. Like that's in this own little thing. We'll just pop this out. Um, so yeah, pretty standard here for hex, hex, um, pieces, double-sided for the different type of terrain. I'll have to learn what each one does and what, how it affects the characters. Um, but very nice. Uh, We'll play with this probably not very much uh, because, like I said, I have the 3D pieces. So we're going to swap all that stuff out for the 3D pieces as much as possible. Um, player boards, action boards. Now, see, this is the actual... These are the player boards here. So you got like cues and stuff because uh, I believe it's each one of your actions you can do um, three times. So that's why the cubes are here. And then your player ability. Each, each player has a different ability. So this is like the 3D of the tray, which is interesting because you have this... So, this is for turn order and KO, uh, oh, KO, uh, HP, and then this is the action, this is the action board for the, um, the one player that's by themselves, or the AI controlled player, and these are the player boards for each, uh, each person. Um, so these are three. I wonder why the action, turn, the turn order board is not three. Okay. Um, feels pretty good. Um, nice hard plastic here. Uh, so no need to, uh, don't see a reason why you'd want to um, buy something from like Etsy or something or have somebody 3D print something. This is good quality. Uh, hopefully that's standard and wasn't just a Kickstarter thing because that's pretty nice to have it like 3D and be able to move it. It's um, dented so you can push the action card up and um, pick it up. So that's pretty nice. They thought about that part. Uh, put these over here. Uh, let's see. Of course we have the characters and everything. We'll do that last. Uh, so we have player aids. Uh, is this easy to open? No, why would you not leave a little thing to open this? Okay, I'll take my knife out. 
Um, oh, no, no, that's pretty easy. Never mind. So, so player aid, sweet. Gives you a little something something to remember all the steps. Uh, okay. Close this one around. All right, and player aids, nice quality. I like it. Nice and thick. Um, attack in advance. So, character activation, AI. Ah, this AI cards. Okay, makes sense. Yep. Don't want to spoil those just yet. Um, strategy activation. Okay, I like it. AI rules. So, you get a little character activation uh, player aid for the AI rules. Um, and then minion cards. Yep, minions. <laughs> Oh man, NPC characters. Okay, have to look up to see exactly what the NPC characters do when they um, move around. I mean, I could, yeah, NPC. Okay, so yeah, uh, so stuff like Orko, and obviously you see here, you have Prince Adam. So everybody's like basic abilities. They can be an NPC character moving around uh, when your main character does, and then of course you have like the different troop cards. Um, so. I just, yeah, so learning about that you have the NPC characters for uh, King Randor and like Adam and stuff to power down, not really fight heavy people. I mean, if anybody saw the show, you know, King Randor and the print and the queen didn't really go out into the fighting very much. And then, you know, Adam was an Adam for as long as he turned into He-Man and Cringer turned into Battle Cat. Um, so uh, here we go. The, okay, so this is the explanation of the terrain. Um, so it gives you a little... Uh, tells you what they do for each one so yeah i gotta memorize this stuff because yeah, it has all the different ones once again not really using the cardboard uh, terrain pieces is going to be using the 3d ones um so that's good there's an explanation for them and we got the dice do the different sides looks like crits um and then power swords a hit and then i guess grace call is probably a miss or something um that would be sad uh and then the cubes action cubes um character actions is this gonna be easy to open is the question yeah. okay yeah it wasn't too bad all right so we have all the character action cards um i like this because you have a choice so that was pretty nice um these are good quality cards right here uh and they are double-sided, so this is for Man at Arms here. He's got a few different things. This is He-Man. Okay, so everybody's got three, and they're double-sided, so you get to, I'm assuming you get to choose. Um, but yeah, they got three for everybody, and they're all double-sided, so that's pretty cool. Um, pretty decent amount of characters. I mean, they hit all the um, the main ones here, uh, especially for the, the um, Skeletor's forces. Uh, you got Merman and Beastman and uh, Trapjaw, which, you know, in the, in the show, they were there a lot. Um, they chose to, I understand Tila uh, and Man at Arms, obviously, with He Man, but they chose Ram Man, which is interesting. Um, Orko's obviously in here. Um, I wonder why they chose. Yeah, see. Um, oh no, what was his name? The Flyer. Oh, I forgot his name. Oh, I'm losing my geek cred. Y'all comment below what, what his name is. I mean, I can look it up, but um, it's like Vertigo or something. Stratigo? Strat Strat oh, man, I forgot. And I forgot his race, too. So I'm doing terrible. I got to do all that stuff. Um, more strategy cards. Uh, I have to see what those are specifically for the mini cards. Um, strategy cards. It's probably for the AI character as well. Uh, I'm going to have a nice little time trying to... Um, sleeve all this stuff and store it and everything like that okay so have, we have the turn order cards here for all the characters uh and a wild and then yeah for each character okay so these cards go on the turn order board that's what these are for and then the action cards go on to the action spaces that's what the action is for so that's nice uh and then we have the character powers and that's pretty much it for this um so everybody's um, special power card. They have a um, attack and a skill, uh, along with their action cards. Uh, so, and then the HP and all that stuff. So that's good. Um, I'm just gonna leave this wrap for right now because it's pretty tight. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and just open it up. I'm too excited. I can't wait. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open this up. Oh, jeez. Uh, my knife. Yes. 
open this without scratching any of the cards. Okay. Uh, here are the character cards. Um, single side. Oh, AI character. AI character. Okay. Yes, they did say there's different um, abilities depending if it's AI or controlled. So yeah, like I said, you can choose anybody on the good guys to go against, uh, one versus all, or anybody on the bad guys. So you don't have. It's not one of those ones where you, everybody has to be good right off the bat going against the bad guy. You can choose which character you want to go against, um, but they do have different abilities, whether they're controlled by a person or controlled by the AI. Here is, um, I'm assuming the actual character cards. Yeah, these are, okay. So yeah, these are the actual character cards. Um, and then the AI cards. Oh this, is, oh, this is what drew me to the game because it's like, sweet. You're not just being all bad or all good guys going against Skeletor or something. And then there's like, Two, two or three, you know, Evelyn and um, Beastman. That's in the main box. No, they had the whole team. Um, not to throw shade in other games that are co-op against, you know, an AI. You know, uh, you don't have as many choices that way. But I like the fact that you can be all bad guys. I want to be Skeletor going against He-Man. You know, or Man at Arms. That kind of seems overpowered and wrong. But um, you know, Ram Man might put up a fight against all of Skeletor's forces. You never know. Okay, so. <laughs> Let's show you the rest of the box here. This is the other side. So it has all, you know, a little portrait of all the uh, characters that come in the box on each side. Uh, that is the main box. Throw that over there. And we have the minis. Yay, because we, we love Simon. We know what Simon does. And then you get free content. I might check that out, but we'll see. Uh, so this is the main game. So it has a decent amount of uh, characters that come with it. I did get the, uh, put this up here. I did get the uh, box of power or whatever they want to call it that just has all minis. Um, so might um, do, go over that really quick. We'll see. If not, we'll put it in another video or something. But yeah, it's just pretty much all minis in that box. So we can, well, we can take a look though. Uh, but for right now, we have the main characters. So it looks like the NPC characters and the minion all the minions? No. Bad guy minions are all gray, and the good guys and their minions are all pink. Um, I've probably said this before, but I'm not a huge painter, so all my mini ga miniatures games are not painted, so if y'all are planning on seeing that, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Uh, if I ever get somebody to contract it and paint the stuff, I will put it as a short or something um, just to see, but I honestly have so many um, different games and stuff and I just like my card sleeves and painting is a little bit over the top. Um, sleeves cost enough as y'all know. So yeah, uh, here are the minis. Um, I'll try to get a close up and put that into the video. We'll see because that is super blurry, but we will try to get a close up of it. Um, the uh, big monsters are pretty hefty. Um, they feel nice, got a good base, uh, but they here to be the standard uh, minis from Simon, so nothing super special there, but they are quality. Um, and then we have the main characters. Um, that what was nice too is they have He Man on his mount um, and Skeletor on his mount, so Battle Cat and Panthor, um, which was nice because in the game you can upgrade from regular old He Man standing and Skeletor standing to their mount versions, which is pretty cool. So I love the upgrade ability of all the cards. Um, all the characters, which is really great. Um, so that is the minis. Not a whole lot to uh, unbox because it's pretty simple. It's just a skirmish game. That's all there is to it. Um, once you get the other team or person down to zero, the game's over. That's that's all it is. I just love the fact there's so many expansions. Obviously, they got all the main characters. I love that there is uh, upgrade ability on your characters, so you can upgrade their um, abilities. Uh, and then also the turn-based part of it. Um, the terrain looked amazing, and the fact that uh, you have the 3D option of all the terrain, all each one of the terrain uh, types does something different, so it's great. Um, but as far as my official review, I'll come back after I play the game. Hopefully, I can do a 1v1, and then hopefully 1v5, 4, 4, right? Yeah, so it's 5 players, 1 to 5, obviously. Or 5 against 1. I don't even know how that works. I gotta look that up. Is it If you're doing AI, is it 5 versus 1 or 4 versus 1 still? I think it's 4 versus 1 still. But anyways, hopefully maximum player and then two player and all the different things and then I'll come back with a review. All right, so that's it for the uh, the base game. I will go to the box of power next 
And now we have the Box of Power, as you can see here. So many characters. Um, we're not going to go through all of them. I will quickly go through all of them, but here it is. The box is pretty much as big as the core box, um, but you just have more characters to choose from, and some of the NPC characters actually have figurines on them. So we actually have, you know, Queen Marlena and uh, King Randor in here. Uh, so we're going to take a look real quick, not do a whole deep dive because it's, it's pretty much just all characters. So once again, nice thick box, very pretty with the original art here. Um, such a nice touch from Mattel and Simon on that. Uh, more scenarios, as I said, every expansion pretty much has more scenarios. So and more scenarios with the characters. And like I said before, we will have more um, scenarios probably in Reddit. People will come up with a lot of different things, more terrain. We actually have the sorcerers on here, Moss Man. Yeah. So all the um, deep cut characters, as you would say, stink or pretty sure stink or here too. Cause I saw scare glow. Oh, Hordax in here. Oh crap. Ooh, double time or whatever. Um, and they even have the Terror Claws, uh, Skeletor, and like the, um, what's it called? Battle Armor He-Man. Um, got the pops up, 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 up this way. <laughs> um, and then more terrain. Uh, hopefully there's a, an equivalent 3D type that's um, that's available out there. Oh man, they have, goodness, they have all kinds of people. Um, but yeah, more tokens, more cards. So, Extendar, I don't even remember, I don't know, Mechanic, who's Extendar? Yeah, there's some deep cuts in here that I really don't know. Um, so let's take a look at the uh, player cards um, before we look at anything else. Oh, they even give you a little, oh my gosh, for the cubes. Oh, it's so sick with the power sword on the top. Oh man, they're doing it big time now. I like that. Okay, so let's take a look at the player cards. Um, so if it's horizontal, Vertical, vertical, <laughs> yeah, that one. Um, if it's vertical, then it's the uh, player controlled cards versus the AI controlled. Um, so yeah, ooh, goddess Tila. So when she takes, when she gets infected by the snake man. That's pretty cool. Okay. And then Fisto, our Stridor is a mount. Zoar, which we know is the sorceress, is um, eagle form. Um, and then we got the bad guys too. So many characters, so many characters. Laser light Skeletor. Okay, so if people don't know, there was a bunch of like toys that were not in the TV shows or anything like that. It was just trying to, you know, get more money. That's, you know, that's what Mattel did. That was the type of thing they did back in the 80s. Um, but <laughs> yeah, some of the stuff they came up with, they were just, you know, pulling people from down the hall. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but um, I think Mattel's had the license all the time. I can't remember. Um, but there is documentaries on Netflix, but basically they were just putting people into the toys. They were making likenesses from them and then just making up random names. And so that's how you got like Fisto because he had a big fist. So Fisto, that's it. Throw him out there. Um, and Stinkor is a skunk. So yeah, make them a thing. Moss Man is Moss Man. Um, so you have stuff like that. Um, but here are the AI characters, so you can um, fight each one of these characters on the team. Um, Battle Axe He-Man and then King Grayskull, um, He-Man's ancestor. That's, I think he was the first one. Um, uh, Hero? I think it was King. King Grayskull was before He-Man. Hero was the original. I think. I can't remember. I have to look that one up again. I forgot what the timeline was, but uh, here are all the AIs, so you can play against all the characters. So, definitely going to try to go through most of them, if not all of them. Um, but yeah, good quality cards, once again, like in the original. Um, not going to open up these, because you guys know these are the uh, turn order cards and the action cards from before, because I have no way to store these right now. I don't know how I'm going to do it, um, but we'll take them out, because I'm not going to take them out of here, because we got to go through the main set first before we go on to this set. So, all this stuff looks nice. Oh, the lesson of the day. That's pretty sick. Oh my god. That's pretty sick. So, I'm guessing these are uh, effect cards or event cards. Lesson of the day. That's so good. Oh man. Um, if you never saw the original show, um, there was always a lesson of the day because at that time, cartoons had to be somewhat educational. They couldn't just be going around punching people and throwing rocks at them or whatever and hitting them with the sword because you couldn't cut people with the sword. You had to hit people with the sword. Um, so after He-Man saves the day, um, you would always get a lesson. The more you know, you know, G.I. Joe, Transformers type stuff. Uh, but it was called the lesson of the day. 
Um, that was actually a federal law. If you don't know that, kids nowadays um, can't get these opens. I don't want to read the lesson of the day. I just want to be surprised with what it says. Um, and then you got the terrain card explanation. So just like before, the same thing as um, cards in there. Once again, I'm not going to take those out because I have no way to store them right now. Okay. Um, very thin plastic cover on here. Um, and then, of course, the whole bottom part is just a bunch of characters. Uh, so throw this box over here. And we will open this. Do, 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 do. Um, so I don't know if you guys noticed last time, but uh, the box had to actually had the name of the little um, shadow or black out uh, silhouettes of what was in the box. And on the back side, give you the bottom part, so it's top and bottom, um, which is pretty convenient. I appreciate Simon for doing that. Um, as most of you all know, they are known for their miniatures games, so there's, most of their games have miniature um, plastic bins like that in all their games, so I love that they did that so you can see what is in it, so you ain't got to look through the whole entire thing. Very much appreciate that. Okay, so once again, the heroes are pink, but uh, this time the bad guys are all gray, dark gray instead of light gray. Um, the NPC characters are... Um, Mostly light gray. Uh, we have some mounts in here. Uh, we have some terrain. So this is this one actually has 3D terrain in here, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, I will try to make a video of close-ups of all this and put that out. Let me put this over here for a second. Okay, so we have mounts. Um, Swift winds in here. Did I see Shiro somewhere? Did I miss that? Because is that not Swift wind? That looks like Swift wind. It's that looks like Swift to me. Am I missing Shiro? Uh, somewhere. Okay. That's interesting. Put that back in there. Uh, but yeah, Cringer, Panthor, and then, um, so they become mounts. As you saw in the original game, uh, or in the base that we just did, uh, they had He-Man and Skeletor on them, but now I guess they can just be mounts that anybody can grab. Uh, so that mechanic would be cool. And then so many different He-Mans. So ridiculous. Uh, and then, um, in fact, the King Grayskull's in here. That's pretty, um, he was pretty strong. Uh, so needless to say with his axe. Um, very much a known character in the lore of He-Man. Uh, so I like the fact, uh, once again, you can upgrade your characters so you can change the forms because they have, um, the sorceress in her hawk form versus her regular sorceress form, which is pretty sick. You got multiple versions of He-Man and Tila and Skeletor and all that stuff. And, um, OG characters, yeah, Gray Skull is really a surprise. I did not know he was going to be in there. Um, technically, he's dead, so I don't even understand. Um, and then you have Cringer versus Battle Cat, which is pretty freaking cool. And of course, Prince Adam versus He Man, and more terrain, um, 3D terrain pieces. Uh, so hopefully, I can do, uh, well, we're going to do the review, but I'll make little videos of all the of really good close ups of all the, um, the uh, minis and stuff like that. Uh, once again, not going to paint them because I don't really care too much. I know that's going to offend some of the geeks out there because they are going to pitch them. No, nope, don't care. I'm going to be playing the game. That's what I'm going to be focused on. Got so many games to play and review. Um, but for now, uh, really quick unboxing of the, of the first expansion box. Uh, box of Power. I'll go through the other ones in different videos and then probably just do a couple shorts of all the terrains and close-ups and stuff like that and put that on the channel. But... Either way, let me know what you think. Come to the bottom section, give a little thumbs up, comment below, come to the Discord, come to all the socials, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. I probably forgot something once again, Snapchat or something. Um, uh, no, we don't have Snapchat, I don't think so anyway. Mm. Maybe, uh, but yeah, let us know what you think, and uh, let you know. Tell me who your favorite He-Man character is, bad guy or good guy, or whatever. One, of, do one of each. Um, let me know if you played the game yet. Uh, if you got the European version, let me know. Like I said, when I get that in, I'll do a video, maybe do a versus video. What's the difference between the two? Even though technically you can't get it here in America, but whatever. If you have a friend of home overseas, they can ship it to you, like I do. Uh, 
Go ahead and comment about that too. Come to the Discord, let me know. Come to the Discord, let me know if you like it when they take the 80s stuff and make it into board games. As y'all saw before, I have the Power Rangers and the Transformers deck builders from Renegade Game Studio. So when a game um, comes out that's all nostalgic like that, I'm happy to play it. Uh, but let me know what you think and check us out next time. This is Just Got Played. I am JJ, bye.